Hey, hello, you're stuck in traffic with Wolf Gorlick, a few minutes riffing and IT and IT security. Today, looking at uh, north, south, east, west network diagrams and, and what it means. So, I was in Silicon Valley. I'm in Silicon Valley and I'm at a party. At a party, I have a few drinks. I have a few drinks and therefore call a lift. Always call a lift. <laughs> and, uh, and the lift driver, I'm in the street in front of where this party was going on. The lift driver can't find me, he keeps calling me. He's like, I don't know where you are, sir. I'm like, I'm on the north side of the street. I don't know where that is, sir. I'm like, it is east of this block. I don't know where that is, sir. I mean like three, four times. And finally, finally, I'm like, ah, cancel the lift. Call another lift, the guy finds me. I'm like, hey, you are brilliant. He goes, hey, I was a boy scout and I know how to find my cardinal directions. And we started talking and, and laughing about this. And it really is a problem today. It's We've all gotten so used to GPS, and I'm just as bad as anyone else, that it is incredibly hard to remember what's north of what and what's east of where and how to get anywhere by verbal directions. Insane. It's a lost art, much like the lost art of network diagrams. Um, so the tip for you is this. When you start hearing about east-west traffic or north-south traffic, know that this comes from uh, a legacy of how you were all taught back in the day to do network diagrams and know that it also points towards the future of how we're going to secure our networks here's the thing in the old days the internet was on top you started the internet and then you drew a line down to your routers drew a line down to your firewalls hopefully a lot of people didn't even have firewalls on can you imagine drew a line down to your network and so north south traffic was entering and leaving the um, internet right and so oftentimes when we're talking about protecting north south traffic you hear about this all the time what they're talking about is quintessential perimeter based firewalls protecting against that firewall traffic and then of course that's north south east west was within your your subnet with it was in your data center was in your environment east west traffic was server to server on a trusted network east west traffic was client to server on uh, on their you know endpoint vlan uh, east west traffic was typically the traffic that was not going through a firewall it was typically the traffic that was unencrypted it was typically the traffic in the quote unquote trusted zone now <laughs> that works great when the trusted zone is truly trusted. It works great when that trusted zone is a switch that you control and you monitor. But what happens in the day and age where your endpoint could be anywhere in the world connected over a virtual private network? What happens in the day and age where that switch can actually and most likely is a virtual switch on a um, hypervisor like VMware uh, in a private cloud or, or on a public cloud like AWS or Azure. What happens when you can't trust that east-west traffic anymore? That is the place we found ourselves in as we've all moved to virtualization and we've all moved to cloud-based technology. And that's why there's so much emphasis today I'm protecting east-west traffic. And if you don't have that eye towards the history, wait, why is it east-west traffic? Where's that coming from? If you've never had to draw network diagrams to, to pass a certification in the 90s, uh, I'm looking at you, Cisco and Microsoft and NetWare, who all made me do this, um, you might not understand what the hell people are talking about. But with that context, you do understand now, and you do understand why, hopefully, that we do not have physical security anymore over our switches and our east-west traffic is not risk why east-west protections have become so important what do you think what's uh what should we be considering when we look at protecting the east-west traffic comment social media hit me up